Hello students, this is Dr. Singhal from Rose State College. Today I want to show you how to use Visual Studio 2012 uh, for Visual Basic.NET application. I'm Dr. Satish Singhal. Uh, basically, uh, you can download Visual Studio 2012, the Ultimate Edition, that's going to have Visual Basic part of it and we'll show you how to use that and that's available through the dream sparks program okay so we can have in visual basic different types of projects and solutions one is command line using the module itself and you'll know what those are in a minute the other is command line using a shared class which has a main method in it and third is the Windows graphical user interface application which is also called Windows programming okay so we'll show you all three of that but there's one something very important before that uh, so that old VB hack code does not get in VB hack code is simply a lot of tricks that were used in VB6 which were not computationally and software engineering wise sound so that doesn't get in each source code file should have the following options typed on the top which is really extreme top which means there's nothing before these two so you should type option strict on and option explicit on as time goes by you'll know meaning of that and this is very important you should have that in each file each source code file and points will be deducted this is important I want to point that out if these two options are not set this should be one of the top line and this is the second top line before anything else is typed in the source code file <clears throat> so since everybody is required to watch this video you should note that and not say later that I didn't know about this you have to type these two lines in every source code file alright so on to Visual Studio this is Visual Studio once you install it and you click on this purple white donut you'll see something like this showing up uh, you may have when you started you may have a dialogue saying okay do you want to optimize it for Visual Basic and you can click on that and then it'll take few minutes it just uh, there is a progress bar that shows for a few minutes and uh, then it shows up this picture basically so to create a module command line project you click on file new project and now it will give you the choice of the languages obviously I set up my environment for C++ but if you set it for VB your visual basic will be right here if you didn't then you go to other languages and click on visual basic and you wanna click on something called console application okay so this is the command line and console application is the same thing you do have choice of locations if you don't want the default location you can browse and then you are free to navigate to any of the drive or the cons uh, or the folders that you want to have your all your visual basic projects uh, stored in right now I'm just gonna uh, leave it as is the default and this will be actually in Visual Studio 2012 projects folder if you need the default I am going to change the name of the project to console application to something more interesting let's say hello well cmd1 cmd stands for command line command and I'll click OK and it's building creating that project right now in visual basic.net and it is going to be a little bit slow because I'm doing this video at the same time but it will do it and notice what it did it created a module called module 1 and it also created the submain submain sub procedure we type our code inside the submain each 
uh, Visual Basic project, that is command line, has a main method. Uh, Windows application do not on the surface have a main method, but it's buried somewhere. Now don't forget what I mentioned here earlier. You have to type those two lines. Uh, option strict I'm oh, sorry strict on and option explicit on <coughs> oh, not off but on okay and in this portion here we can type our visual basic.net program i'm just going to do something called a hello world and code for that is console console is your output console dot right line and inside that we just put a string the strings are composed inside a pair of curly braces and there we go and then you have two uh, operations to do first is build build filters out any compiler okay see already I made a compiler do not need semicolon in uh, Visual Basic do need that in C sharp and in other languages so build solution will point out any compiler you might have had and when it says one succeeded and zero failed that means that there are no compilers. Compilers could have been called if I just left this one out here and if I try to build now it will give me a compiler and it says one failed and it says hello is not declared really what it is thinking that it's a variable name so once we put the quotes in there that compiler will go away and you rebuild and this time it will be one succeeded okay to run it what you do is click on that and do start without debugging because you're not doing debugging you're just running it and this showed up here hello world my window is huge but doesn't matter uh, my console now shows hello world it's exactly what I typed uh, here inside that string whatever this is yellow inside the yellow string that shows up here and that's my uh, command line project in Visual Basic using the module okay <clears throat> now we can close it or we can leave it open you can have multiple projects open at the same time I'll just go here and start Visual Studio again for the second project that I'm going to do and of course I'm going to minimize this first one so this time what I want to do is I want to write a command line project using a class that is a technology <laughs> borrowed from other languages like uh, Java for example okay so for that again you still have to create a project of course new project uh, Visual Basic console application I don't think it will allow me to create a empty but that's okay it doesn't really matter <coughs> uh, console application and this time I'll say uh, hello world CMD class using a class okay it's still going to create this module which I can close and delete actually so sorry I can close this one and actually I did delete it also because I don't need it this time because I'm going to use a class and then what I do is I come to my project say add new item add new item and this time I want a class and I just want to call it main class <clears throat> now 
Now this is blank. I need to add a main to it. So I say public shared sub main. And if I, after typing this, if I press the enter key, it'll fill in the end sub by itself. So now this acts like my main function, but it's located inside a class called main class. And of course, to say hello world, we don't do anything different. We just say same thing, console dot right line. And inside the quotes, we say hello world. Now, by default, starting point is the module that we just deleted. This is not going to get recognized by Visual Studio. So we need to, and again, see, I'm in a habit of putting semicolon. Don't you do that, actually. So <clears throat> we tell Visual Studio how to start our project with this main, not with the one that we deleted. So we go here, project properties and hopefully there will be something called a startup item uh, let's see settings compile they might have actually uh, yeah a startup object so you see module one we deleted that so that is that is no longer our startup object so really startup object would be main class okay and once we do that, it's fine. I can go back to my file. I don't have to click on any save or anything. It'll basically understand that our starting object is the main class. And I go back to my main class. Now I do the same thing. Build solution. And it says once succeeded. And then start without debugging. And we had the same effect. Hello world shows up here because inside my class there was a main method. Its signatures are different from what was in the module. It has the word shared in it, but the code is same and same code got executed here. And you may have a question at this point that why would I prefer this approach as opposed to the module approach? Well, this is more puristic. Uh, purists don't like the modules that are there in uh, Visual Basic. They want everything inside a class. So that's the approach borrowed from Java. So that's, that's what it is, actually. OK, so looks like uh, my time in this video is about to finish. Uh, or maybe I can, yeah, I will just wait for the next video to show you how to build a Windows application project using Visual Studio 2012 for Visual Basic .NET. Okay, thank you.